In this third video we're going to take a look at gameplay. Before we get into the game itself, um, just a couple of points to note. Uh, the menus in the game are in English. There are a few menus that are actually in Japanese, um, but these involve uh, cutscenes in between the games and this do with st the storyline. So unless you read Japanese you're not going to be able to understand the story. Um, not a huge issue. Um, because as with most shoot 'em ups, um, it's not really necessary to be honest. Um, second point to note is this week I've been playing the game mainly using the uh, standard Xbox joypad. I know it's a it's a big shoot 'em up crime, <laughs> um, but I, I kind of got used to using it. But for today's review, I'm going to be using the uh, there we go. The Hori Arcade Stick, which is uh, it is far more responsive, has to be said, and you can really bash those buttons um, with 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 the joystick. So let's get into the game itself then. We'll play the standard one-player mode. Okay, the game's actually on the uh, most easy difficulty setting. Um, a because it's really really hard and B because I'll be able to show you uh, a bit further into the game. Um, I'm also going to select a character that I use quite a lot as well because their uh, secondary fire uh, is kind of like it's a, a ghost that homes in on the enemies and just makes the game a little bit easier I think. Um, now as you can see there's ten characters all with different uh, types of fire and different strengths and weaknesses so yeah, there's, there's, there's a multitude of ways to play the game through, actually. This is the character I'm going to be using. Cougar. Yeah, all the characters got different secondary fire as well. Right, here's like this character. Um, right, this is the secondary fire, and as you can see, um, it is like a spirit that flies out and uh, attacks enemies. Okay, a little tutorial here. You got your standard fire. You hold the button button down, you get your secondary fire. Y button's pretty explanatory. It's a smart bomb. Like Saivaria, this game encourages you to graze the bullets. You get an 8x multiplier for doing that. But killing enemies in a row, you get a times multiplier as well. So let's get into the main game. Oh, sorry, yeah. If you, uh, if you press uh, the both buttons together, you'll fire a rate of fire that basically is times 8 all the time. Good for taking out bosses, I tend to find. So yeah, you'll see one of these uh, menus I was talking about earlier on. It's all Japanese text and language. So it means <laughs> means nothing to, uh, to, to me, and it means nothing to anyone who doesn't read Japanese. <laughs> Here we go into the main game itself. I'll try and uh, talk to you and play at the same time. It's quite difficult <laughs> skill to master. I know what uh, Dan from Retrogrammer meant now. So here we are. Let's get grazing these bullets. Yeah, you do get much more pronounced, precise control. Sorry, with the uh, with the arcade stick. There we go, I can skip in between the bullets there. Oh, oh dear. We have to concentrate on this more. I don't know if you can see there's a little uh, white pixel on the back of the character. Um, that's the actual hit point. So basically, if a bullet goes through that, you're dead. It does make grazing a hell of a lot easier, though. Here we go, he's the first boss. Yeah. 
sure if you can see at the top when I uh, when I get my eight times bonus multiplier going there, there's a there's a bar that counts down, and that's basically how much time you've got left um, with your times eight multiplier going on. Basically, it turns your bullets red, and you get the same effect by grazing bullets. You get times eight. So here we go. It's all going to go a bit mad in a minute, so I'm going to have to uh, yeah, start firing my main uh, weapon there. Yeah, this is the bit where I need to find my main weapon. There we go. It's boss time again. The music's pretty good on this, and um, yeah, I must admit, again, I did think it was an extremely average game, and so I started playing it a bit more and kind of got into the hidden depths of the game. The um, control system's uh, quality has to be said. The uh, the graphics, whilst not being the, the greatest I've seen on a 360 shooter, um, are still quite pretty in, in HD. They look they look really really good. <laughs> Right, so next bit we'll get to. Ooh. Yeah, the next bit we'll get to is a uh, breakdown of the score for uh, level one. Oh, I only got an A ranking. I'm, I'm pretty used to getting a uh, super on that one. Okay, we'll uh, have a, a quick look at level uh, two, the first stage. Yeah, the game does get very, very manic later on. Really does. Yeah, I can get right up to level 3 without dying normally um, but as I say it is tough, here we go, here's another boss I'm going to put a bit of a run through of this game on um, at some point when I do have to concentrate on talking and playing <laughs> being a typical bloke there oh dear Fired that off at the wrong time. Mm. 
so I hope this video gives you some idea of uh, how the game plays. Uh, it is it is damn good fun, has to be said. In my opinion, of it has really, really changed.